It's Mac the Guru. We have finally got some boxing matches coming. Um, some big ones, right? Earl Spence against Terrence Crawford. This is my prediction video, right? Because I, I see a lot of stuff out there and people saying this and people saying that and such and such too big and all. No. Earl Spence will lose to Terrence Crawford. And it might be a knockout. I don't know how well his eye going to hold up. Because he haven't been hit by a puncher since that happened. Right? Because Sean, Sean Porter, physical, rough you up. You know, he going to play football with you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look like a D lineman versus an O lineman with Sean Porter. But his punches, he kind of smothered his punches a lot. You know, so even when he gets you, he don't really get you. Terrence Crawford? Oh, this guy's elite, elite. Like, I would have liked to see seen Terrence and Floyd Mayweather in his prime. Not saying Terrence will win that, because I think Floyd is, you know, the pinnacle. But, Terrence got angles. He could go either hand. He got power in both hands. He can fight. <laughs> Just simple. He got every punch in the book. He long. And I think that's going to give Earl problems. Earl likes to bully dudes. He's a bully. He big for 147. I mean, like the biggest guy in the weight class, Earl Spence. That's great when you're younger because you can still cut down and make, make the weight. But similar to Keith Thurman, when Keith Thurman start getting older, it got harder to make the weight on top of the fact Earl Spence and Keith Thurman both the same in this aspect. Boy, they will blow up in between camps. Both of them. I think Earl did a better job in between these two camps because he realizing, just like after Keith Thurman lost to Manny, he started realizing, I can't get to 200 pounds in between my camps and then just lose weight because then you end up having a fat camp where you're just losing weight. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Earl, Earl did a better job with that, but I think he going to struggle walking down turn he like to stay behind that jab and then ah, come with the power that ain't gonna work against Terrence Crawford man I'm letting y'all know that right now that's not gonna work Terrence gonna work them angles he go left hand right hand ah, ah. he quick he got the power timing is impeccable timing is impeccable Earl ain't gonna be able to handle that and I think in the later rounds because he going to take some shots. Earl going to give some shots too. Don't get it twisted. Earl going to give some shots. Because just his style, he'll be able to land certain shots. Certain body shots, he'll be able to land. We're going to see Terrence get hit too. I think Terrence could take a punch better than Earl. Earl ain't really took too many punches in his career. If you go watch the YouTube of him taking punches, he don't look good taking punches. Tell me. You know, but he don't take that many because he usually in there with smaller guys. He worked behind that jab, bully him, walk him down. I just do not see that happening. And if I could tell you the punch that's going to mess Earl up, it's probably going to be when turns go softball. Throw that right hook. Come back with that left. I think that's going to be the punch that might, might wobble him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to be soft. Because I, I don't know how many how many softballs have Earl fall. I don't know. Just off the top of my head. But I think when he goes softball, it's going to give Earl some damage. Or oh, I can see I can see Earl getting hit in his body, too. With a right uppercut from turns. And that making him lean a little bit. I don't see no... no listen. Turns Crawford can knock him out. Eighth round. Ninth round, tenth round. It's gonna be a later round, I believe. Or he could win on decision. He could win unanimous. He could win split decision. But I don't see no way Earl is gonna come out on top of this. Like, I just don't see it, dog. So that's my prediction. Terrence Crawford for the win. I know Earl got power. You know, and with power, you could always land that punch. That, a, but I think Terrence gonna be able to take the punch. 
I think he's going to be able to take the punch, and he's not going to get hit as much and as clean as like a Sean Porter or other other people because he's going to be throwing punches back. It's going to be like, <clears throat> go watch Earl Spence and Kell Brook early rounds, right? Because Kell Brook can box, and he was doing good versus Earl Spence. The problem was he fought Triple G before that and got his eye knocked out. You see what I'm saying? Earl, something wrong with Earl, face too. You know, so I don't think his face going to hold up. You know, but if the, if Kell wouldn't have made that horrible decision in his career, like to go fight Triple G, I think that fight could have went another way, man, because he a big fighter. And he was, he was outboxing Earl, man, in them early rounds. You go watch it. He was. You know, it's just the eye can't hold up after you just got it, your face broke and then you just want to go fight again. You know, I think he fought Triple G and then Earl right after that, <laughs> too. You know what I'm saying? It's just, ah, that ain't smart, dog. But it is what it is. That's what happened, man. But, yeah, man, I definitely think Earl going to fight. I don't even think Earl the toughest fight for Terrence Crawford at welterweight. I don't. But once that fight happened, then, uh, you know, I address that. If that fight ever happened, you know, the fight that I think is the toughest fight. But that's my prediction on this, man. Y'all let me know who you think would win or go win this fight. You know, Terrence Crawford or the truth, Spence, you know. Great fight. I know people feel different about it. Let me know your opinion, man. It's Mac the Guru. If you're still here, make sure you sub to the channel. And as always, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.